I kept I kept dialing this number in the last um, thirty minutes since we saw it online. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a magic number, honestly. Uh, I, I, I will I will introduce myself because I'm a journalist. My name is oh, okay. Olu. My name is Olu Phillips. Olu Phillips. And I work with Channels TV. You. I work with. with I work with Channels Television. Oh, Channels. Yes, sir. Okay. That's, a, that's a reliable one. Okay, so I'm gonna be very straight about this. I mean, we've seen it. We've heard the things and seen the things that are trending on social media. I, I'm just going to ask, based on the things I saw um, in the last few days of coverage, and I'm going to ask questions that are very direct, and I'll be pleased if um, you can provide us with answers to the utmost of your um, sincerity. Sir, tonight, first of all, there's been what has been described as a Black Tuesday owing to shootings, sp sporadic shootings, cases of fatality and injuries. First of all, what's your take on this? When you heard this? I, I was shocked. I was amazed. Knowing fully well, I have the history of being an activist and a unrepentant protester in the past. And uh, I used the statement she yesterday appealing to the conscience of all Nigerians, all the protesters as well. And I sided with them that what they are doing is right. And they have the right to free speech, freedom of association, and freedom to complain. I've done it before. But that they should please, please, please call off the protest. That is how I ended my release. I, you have a copy in, in China. And suddenly tonight, I had a call that army had attacked Nigerian soldiers had attacked the protesters. I was shocked. So, in the process of making all of these inquiries, I started picking numbers. Usually, if I don't have your name, and you imagine, you are talking to me now. If I don't have your name, I won't pick your number. Unless you come through my PA. It's a personal line. But, when lives of people are involved and you in a democracy you had suddenly that people are being attacked with by military or people in military uniform with live bullet you start to wonder you are shocked i am extremely shocked okay and ready to complain to the highest level if you if you if if you follow a bit of the tones and the tonation and the and the pain in the voices of the people who spoke on this number earlier it is one of um frustration anguish and a lot of accusation beyond being shocked about these outcomes tonight or late last night because it's already in the wee hours of the mornings, um, yes. beyond being shocked, what are you saying to the Nigerian youth as far as this time is concerned? What do you think should be the next step for government? And in very strong words, how would you either describe or condemn this attitude or this act to demonstrate that beyond being shocked, there is other, um, there are other things that bother you as far as these actions are concerned. Lives have been lost. Uh, well, uh, it is early hours of the morning. There is no way I can talk to the authority or wake them up now. I've tried to reach the NSA. I tried to reach 
the head of army. Uh, you don't call the president that this out. But I strongly condemn the act. There are other means of settling or dispersing even irritating protests. Why would they use light bullets? They are rubber bullets. We are parents. I, I condemn this act. We know single in no supporting manner. Let, let, me, let me take it you... Is. Yeah, sorry to jump in. Let me take you again on the frustration of many people. Now, there's been a lot of link to your name as regards what had happened to the toll gate. And the reasons are not far-fetched. Some have um, attributed and accused you of... Um, uh, masterminding this because of um, um, vested interest in terms of business revenue that comes from the toll gate and now uh, these guys have occupied that place in days and perhaps so a lot of monies have been lost and this may not be um, this may not or go well or go down well with any um, any uh, uh, business oh, owner uh, do you own this no. business and how no. much have you lost no, I don't own the business. It's a public business. It is owned by the Lagos State government. And the private owners, I don't even know. I'm ready to face all inquiry. Okay? I have no time. No cobalt investment in the toll gate. Now, just we're about 13 days or 14 days to the protest now. Before this, I was being accused and reported to the presidency that I was behind the protest. I was a sponsor of the protest. Okay? So, suddenly, well, I spoke day before yesterday that silence, silence is a queen. It's tolerance of whatever is going on. I spoke against it and I appealed to the youth. And I told the governor. So please find means. And that is why he set up the Judicial Commission of Inquiry. The governor had gone to the home of one of the victims to even appeal to them. He has put 200 million naira together as part of you know, deposit for restitution and compensation for those affected. I will never, never be part of any carnage. I will never be part of that. Let me ask the you... The use of life, yes, go ahead, life ammunition yes. is condemnable in totality. Let me ask you this straight again as if um, the um, Nigerian youths are speaking. Did you, in any way, covertly or overtly, order or turn your eyes away, knowing directly or indirectly of this action that happened late last night, in any way, manner or means, order the shooting of innocent protesters waving Nigerian flag, sitting down in honor and in respect of the Nigerian flag, armless Nigerian youth. Did you, sir, do that? No. I said no. Capital no. And several times no. How can I be part of that? Remotely or otherwise? It's not possible. Maybe you are just knowing me. And unapologetic protesters. I've seen people killed 
charity. I've condemned it. I've gone to, to detention. I've condemned it. I've gone to exile as a result of being recalcitrant. That military must go. Okay? So, how on us? We have to, you know, the protest that we tolerated for 13, 12 days without incident, and that we suddenly become free team of our own exercise for peace. And that we shed blood, mm. innocent blood, to end the protest. It's, it's not acceptable. Let, let me, there let, are so, yes, go ahead, sir. There, are, there are other means. Even if they refuse to leave the sport, you can use tear gas. You can use pepper spray. Yeah. You can use rubber bullet. Not like ammunition. And I don't believe, I don't believe The president himself will authorize it. Honestly. What, what should be happening now? Because um, we have just a few hours before dawn, before the light breaks, before the sun rises, and we begin to see in actual measure and in, in actual um, numbers the level of damage. What should be done? There are two parts to this. One, to assuage the young people who have done this peacefully and what should the government be doing at this point to demonstrate in an unequivocal position that they will deal with the situation in such manner that people will be um, assuaded over this um, Black Tuesday? What will you be advising? First, my own advice to the government is to fish out whoever gave the order and put them on trial. Okay? First, okay. I agree the government too, uh, that the government is slow. Slow in fishing out those sides who were involved in the brutality and the killing of innocent citizens that created the protest in the first place. Okay. Now, up to now, I'm expecting that they would have arrested one or two of them and go into the, what they call, a play room trial and inquiry. Being suspended from the police. Now, whoever ordered the attack of tonight should be brought to book. It is only the chief of army staff and the president who can give that order. Can't a GOC okay. do so? You say? Can't a GOC do so? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know the army regulation that much. I don't think a GOC is, he has to give a free report. He can easily arrest those people too. I put them in the hotel room and report to the uh, head of chief of family staff. And then who in touch will report to the president. And the president will have to, to address the, the situation. And on the part of the youth, what's going to happen? How are you going to deal? How are we ever going to be able to um, calm the frayed nerves of these young people who have lost their lives, people's, um, people's children, people's cousins, people's um, um, relatives? How is this ever going to go away in our history? How do we deal with this? I sympathize with all concerned. I have not... You know, uh, make any confirmation to the extent that there are casualties 
okay, has not been able to confirm. In fact, I don't, I've been trying to reach the governor. I will continue to try. I doubt if I will sleep till they break. This number has to keep ringing. You can't even afford to switch it off, sir. Yeah, well, I will, I, I, I will, I will probably switch it off. <laughs> it is an upset. It is troubling. I thought I could talk reasonably to some people. But if I've been accused wrongly, of plotting against this government three weeks ago. Then I spoke in support of the protest and I vouched for the government that they will change and they are with the reform. The bomb is not quick and easy things in the police nor in the army. So, well, we the leaders, we've lost our sleep. We've lost our peace of mind. Uh, we just have to if, deal if, with it. Finally, sir, so that I don't take much of your time, if you were the governor of the state, for instance, today, or you are in the position to take very drastic decisions over what has happened some hours ago, what would you be doing, sir? Well, I may have to let go some people, fire them, and appeal to the year. And then, you know, I set a commission of inquiry to check the reasons for anger. Now, Equally address the question of employment and unemployment. Equally, look at the welfare of the police as well as that of the army. And the command and deal with the officers who, who get the instruction the other to kill innocent children. They are innocent. They are not criminals. But if they allow crim criminal elements to infiltrate them, well, there are so many other ways to treat it. There are many ways to skin a car. Do you smell a conspiracy? You think? Do you smell conspiracy, sir? Yes. I do. I do. I'm not I'm not even sure the Nigerian army. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Hmm. If I am if I am you know, you you, you see all this rag tag uniform. Hmm. all over the country. I'm not sure how well the uniforms of the army are controlled. Okay? But that is not as critical as the life and the blood shed that had occurred. I'm going to put you on the spot in a few seconds and final, and that will be my final take for this moment. Um, do you think this government have failed Nigerians and especially the young people with the demonstration of what we have seen um, some few hours ago? I won't pass that judgment now. Okay. 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 I will not. I... That is why you heard that I was making all sorts of telephone calls. Okay. 
to explain to people, to educate them, to douse the tension. That's my limit of power. Okay? Yes, sir, I'm here. It's not because of any other interest. Mm. There's a limitation here. Absolutely. And I'm commanding two members of Nigeria Army. I can't. Except I can only control my own security, personal security guards. I cannot cross judgment on the president until I find out whether he gave the order or not. Nigerians will be waiting to see and hear the outcome of this call or this um, reach out to Mr. President because that, that in itself will help perhaps, um, I use those words advisedly, perhaps um, insulate or um, assuage Fred nerves over whether you had hands in this or not. So the days I had will be interesting because the things you would have to say to the president, president, and the, the response you'll be given would really tell us what the true pictures are. I, I, I hope you will be uh, available to respond to that um, as soon as you can reach Mr. President, because Nigerians and the international community will be waiting to to hear that. I believe even before I reach him, the president uh, and the chief of army and others who are being accused who have the arrest force ready. I believe they should. I condemn the act of killing, shooting innocent protest, a protestant. I condemn it in its entirety. I must thank you very much for spending these 20 minutes um, responding to some of these very pressing questions. And I'm sure by the time um, we shoot it out there on our station, uh, we'll be helping to um, bring some, some, some clarity to the issues that are unfolding, which will continue to unfold in the days ahead. Thank you very much, sir, for taking this call, sir. Yeah, welcome. Let's pray for our country. Let's build a united country. Let's pray for peace and harmony. God bless Nigeria. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye.